Hey family, welcome back to yet another edition of the Opolo Diversity Solutions. And in this video today, we are going to be focusing on uh, screen replacement for this uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T470 laptop. So we're going to be focusing on uh, script, uh, screen replacement because this screen is a bit faulty and uh, it's, it's, it's a broken screen and it needs to be replaced. So in this video, without wasting any of our time, let's just dig in right away. Now, first things first, before you starting on any operation, we need to first ensure that we shut down completely the laptop and also disconnect any power source from the laptop. So in this case, we need to power force this uh, laptop to shut down. So I'll just press uh, force the button to shut down. Then also, once I'm done with that, I will have to remove, disconnect uh, the external battery and also disconnect the internal battery or rather the secondary battery which is inside the laptop so meaning that we have to first remove this external battery and also open up this cover so that we get rid of the secondary battery which is inside and among us the tools that we are going to be needing today we're going to know, uh, need uh, I'll have my Phillips and uh, Phillips screwdriver and then this ply through uh, apply tool or rather presser tool that we are going to use. This one will help us in uh, removing the bezel, the screen bezel, and this one will help us to uh, remove the screws on the cover. So let's start right away and do exactly that. So I'll remove the battery. Remove the external battery. And then uh, this laptop has one, two, three, four, five, six screws that we need to get rid of. So I'll first with this, uh, start with the first one, second one here, third one, fourth screw, fifth screw here, and then the sixth screw. So once I'm done with that, I can get to this angle, the extreme, and then keep rotating the cover so that it opens up. Now, this is the inner battery that we need to uh, disconnect and uh, it connects directly to the motherboard using this connection here. So we just remove or rather disconnect it off the motherboard. So I've disconnected the battery and now that we, and now that we are interested in uh, replacing only the screen, we can then put back the cover temporarily as we flip open the laptop and have access to the screen. Now, for the screen, we need to get our pry tool or rather presser tool, and uh, we go to the edges, any any angle, any anywhere you want to start from, you can already start from. So in this case, we are going to be starting from this uh, upper side. And then, Gently, gently, we, with our pressure tool, we st uh, there are some plastic locks inside that we need to unlock. Oops. Maybe for better vision, let me try from this side. There is some sticky glue that is attached to the bezel, so you have to be careful and gentle when removing. Uh, because the, in, in most cases, when the glue is uh, tight, you might end up you might end up damaging the bezel, the screen bezel. So you have to just do it gently. to 
all the angles. You will have to be gentle so that you don't damage. that you don't damage the bezel or maybe the screen flip wide open the frame you have to do this gently so that you don't damage the bezel so that you don't damage the bezel and uh, Once you disconnect, or rather once you unlock the plastic locks, then you are good to go. So this is our bezel, and uh, it's out, so we can keep it aside gently. Once we are at this level, we have four screws. We have one, two, three, four. Four screws that we need to get rid of. And uh, we start with the downer ones. the fourth one then we go to the third one the upper one and then the fourth one fourth upper one so once we are done, we gently, we gently remove, or rather, for bend the screen to have access to the LCD connector. So you simply just make it slide down to the keyboard area, so that you can have access to the LCD connector, the one that connects to the uh, motherboard from the motherboard to the screen. And uh, this connector here is covered with a sealing tape, which we need to gently remove. In most cases, it's always hard and hard to remove. So you have to uh, remove it gently. In case you have a replacement, you can always just uh, remove it and uh, replace. So once you, I don't know whether you can view this. So once you, once you reach this area, you can then unlock the connector using uh, your apply tool and then gently disconnect the screen. Now this is the dead screen, the, the, the screen that is not working and uh, we have to replace it with a new working screen which I have here. So in the same process, in the same process, I remove the old one and replace with the new one. Put back the new one here. And uh, just put this aside. So once we are done, we can then connect back our connector, LCD connector. Gently into its connecting position to the screen. it is done we can then lock put back our lock that helps hold the connector firmly and once that is done we can then uh, put back our ceiling tape but in case this is not enough we can then add in case you have 
sealing tape you can always add so in this case i have my red one here in this case i have my red one here that i can add to make it firm to make the connector firm so i'll just add it here i'll add the tip i'll add the tip to make the connector firm so once that is done we can then put back our screen into these fitting holes where we can put the screw but before we do that we need to first confirm also make sure that the cable the cable aligns properly in its uh, position so we need to first confirm whether the screen is working before we cover it up and then find out that this cover that is not working so it's better you always first check whether it's working before you start closing so i'll uh, connect my remember i removed all the batteries so there is no direct power i'll just connect the power cord here directly and then switch it on to see that to see whether the screen i've replaced is working once i see the lenovo logo uh, it's a sign it's pretty good sign that it's working so i can just force shut down i can force shut down the laptop then i put back my screws now that we've confirmed that it is working well i shall have to put back the screws put back the screws put back the screws put the third one as well here back into its position oops you have to be gentle a bit so that uh, remember these screens are always delicate items that need to be protected so you, you, you have to do it gently go to the last one this is the last screw, the last screw that we are putting back you have to do that gently so that you don't cause any damage on the screen so once that is done we can then put back align back our align back our bezel and uh, once you have to ensure that this bezel base sits on the hinges and once it sits on the hinges you can just let it aligned to this frame and then press press the locks gently press the locks gently until it is locked firmly it is locked firmly all around ensure that all locks are firmly attached so once that is done and on being sure that all the locks have been attached firmly we then proceed to do a final testing before we put back the batteries so i will do the final testing i'll switch i'll connect the power cord and then power it up so once it gives me a screen a display screen i will be sure that the laptop is the screen is well replaced so now i can force shut down can force shut down 
and then remove the power cord and then put back our secondary and primary battery. So I'll first open this base cover and then connect, connect back my secondary battery. Once I'm done connecting my secondary battery, I then put back the cover. I connect back the cover. I'll connect back the cover. And then tighten the screws. Tighten the screws. Tighten the screws. Or tighten the screws. Tighten the screws here. And then tighten the screws here too. So once that is done, I can then put back my external battery. And we are good to go. We shall do opening. We shall open up the laptop and then check, confirm whether the replacement has been successful. Now that we have replaced the screen, it's uh, trying to diagonize. Uh, if I may connect the power cord, I think it's battery has gone off. If I, if I may connect the power cord and then turn it on, this is how it's going to power on and it will give me a display it will give me a Lenovo logo showing that the screen replacement has been successful so that is it and see you in the next video Productivity, solutions to excellency cheers